Shareholder is the top of the best weighted column by quite a way for the seventh race, which is the track and ball gaming graduation plate over 1,750 meters. Native Tongue tops the speed form rating column. So those are the two horses that are right at the top of the ratings. An interesting field, just eight runners go to post. And Graham, let me make it clear, as I always like to, I don't want for one moment anybody to feel that I don't give number six shareholder, the best weighted horse of the race, a winning chance. He's got ability, he's by Zoffany, he's a two-time winner from only 10 starts, certainly has a bright winning chance. He's not my first choice. I've included him, but I'm going against him. I've gone with number three, green light to heaven. Gavin Van Zale's horse for Mr. Nyker. Luke Ferraris rides that excellent effort behind Ralph the Rascal. There's been three runners, one winner out of that form line. He's lightly raced, he's just had the five starts. Yes, shareholders had the 10 starts. I'm edging with number three, green light to heaven. How do you see it unfolding? Well, when I first looked at it, I thought it was just a match race between one native tongue and six shareholder. Shareholder is clearly rated to win. If the handicappers have got their sums right, he's back. Last time he was this far well rated ahead of the rest of the field was in a novice in his penultimate start and he won that and he won it comfortably. That was by a length or so from native tongue. Again, on ratings, he's got the beating of native tongue, but on collateral form, native tongue has to reverse the order with number six shareholder. He's many kilograms better off uh, with number six shareholder on that run on the 18th of October. You could be right with number three, green light to heaven in the sense that he's rated 85. His uh, race rating is two pounds below native tongue, but he's yet to be tried beyond 1400 meters. And that's the key here. He goes 1,750 meters for the first time in his career, and that might be the right move for this three-year-old son that gave me the green light. He may well emerge with a much higher rating over this extra distance, so you could be spot on the button. He's my third choice. I have gone one native ton, six shareholder, three green light to heaven, and five Bayview Express, uh, but most of my play in the exotics reverts, uh, revolves around number one native tongue and number six shareholder. So I'm at risk with number three green light to heaven, I must be honest, but who knows, the extra trip could really be to his liking. Well, we're both at risk here because my play, you'll see, revolves around one native tongue and three green light to heaven. I've taken a chance, I've ignored shareholder from the pick six and the place accumulator, but on the day, you know, I will certainly be taking a second, third and fourth pick six as I always do, and I will include shareholder. He'll go into my exactors, he'll go into my trifectas and quartets, but for the show I've uh, left him out. And I'm at risk. So we're both at risk here. It's about risk, it's about taking So we're both chance. looking for native tongue to win it. That's the common that's denominator. The, that's the common denominator. But a, a tricky graduation, let's see how it unfolds. Well the betting market is interesting. The opening betting market has number one native tongue as short as 13 to 10, number six shareholder 28 to 10, Number three, green light to heaven, seven to two. Garth Puller's runner, number two, Banzai Pipeline, 11 to two, and pretty much any price, the balance of the field. I chatted to Garth about Banzai Pipeline. This didn't look like the right post maiden race for Banzai Pipeline, but he thinks he's quite progressive, and although he's not sticking his neck out and saying that he will trouble the more fancied runners, another good run is expected, and he's certainly a must for quartets. Before we wrap the seventh race, Graham, which is the penultimate, just some feedback. Number four, Monarchy. They raced to this horse over 2,400 meters last time. I had a word on that occasion with Mike Miller. Never stayed. Too far, far too far. So the drop back to 1750, I think you'll see a better effort. And I remember also talking to Yogis Governor on many occasions about number five, Bayview Express. I'm going to ignore his last two efforts because Yogis rates Bayview Express on those occasions that I spoke to him. There was a twinkle in his eye about this uh, Jackson cult. For me, he's better than his last two runs. But a tricky race. Let's see how it unfolds. That is the penultimate race. Race 7, the graduation plate. Native tongue, green light to heaven for me. Native tongue and shareholder for Hawkeye.